Hey everybody, we haven't made a video in a while, so we're going to be doing one here. Just going to make this a little bit of a series. <laughs> this bike is not charging properly, and if you did notice in the video sometime here, the foot peg isn't on the bike. I, I know, I had to get a little uh, star washer here. It was slipping. I'm going to put it on. It also needs a pet, new pet cock, and I found out where the oil is dripping from. I just got to wait till I change the oil to do it. But this bike is not charging. I'm pretty sure, let's see if I can get in here. I'm pretty sure the regulator, which isn't the kind that bolts on the front of the generator here. It's that thing with the fins. And I don't know if I can turn the light on, on the fly. Yes, I can. Um... I'm pretty sure it's that thing is completely shot, right? But this, it's got a little bit of oil on it now that I got a light down in there. So maybe, eh, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, this generator is only putting out a little over half the voltage it really should. It is charging, it's putting out 24 volts. I checked, we did test it right. Call the dude that works on these old bikes where I'm going to be taking the generator to. And it, he said we did it properly. So <laughs> it's supposed to be putting out close to 40. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the generator off. I asked him, it's like, you can haul the bike up or I can just check the generator. Put new... we're, we're assuming the, uh, the brushes need to be replaced or something because it is working. It's just not working good enough. And I guess we need to get that generator to where it's putting out all that it's supposed to, then test it again before we go and just freaking um, swap out an expensive voltage regulator. Because there's always the off chance it's not putting out enough juice to make the voltage regulator work, I guess, so I've been told. But we do this and it still doesn't work. We swap the voltage regulator out. These bikes are a little different than the newer ones. The generator works basically like an alternator in a car. It has, a, it has to have power to it to make power, unlike uh, stators and permanent magnets in newer bikes. It's basically the exact opposite of a starter. The good news is it's really easy to remove. The bad news is if it needs to be completely replaced, it is expensive. If you look here, there are two different sized bolts that are bigger. One there, one there. Those two big bolts lined up vertically between the brake lever right there. Those are the two bolts that hold this sucker in there. That's it. Maybe some silicone or something of some kind. We'll see. It looks clean from this angle. <laughs> I don't know. Eh, it's probably just never been washed down in there good enough. I mean, as you can see, the motor's pretty clean. I keep it pretty clean. It's probably never gotten way down in there. A little bit of oil could be could have been there 10, 20 years. What we're going to do is we're going to find a place to put this camera and take this off. But first, the way we checked this was you have two bolts. There we are. One field, one armature. The one pointing straight up is the field. The, one to the left is the armature. I believe it is labeled. You have to unplug the voltage regulator. And I'll probably videotape me doing this to test the new one, but you, you hook your uh, voltmeter uh, to ground and to the left one, the armature. Then you hook a wire with, with alligator clips, a jumper wire from the positive battery terminal to the armature bolt. That supplies power to it now that it's being bypassed through the uh, from the uh, voltage regulator. Then you take another wire, you hook one end to the field, and then you don't do anything yet. <laughs> and you don't want to leave the wires hooked up forever as they'll, get, they'll start getting a little warm. But then you fire the bike up, Rev it at about 2,000 RPMs, and as it's revving, you ground the other end of that wire you have hooked to your field 
to somewhere on the bike. I probably wouldn't do it to the negative battery terminal. You might be able to. I forgot the seats loose here. Uh, we grew, we touched it to the metal plates, the unpainted plates that the seat bounced to in the front, and it will spark. And you don't do that more than about 10 seconds, and then it should show close to 40 volts on the voltmeter. This was showing 24. Now we're going to take this sucker off. We have an Allen wrench on a socket here. We'll see how well this works, how big of a bitch this is going to be. Oh shit, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I got a feeling the hard part's going to be pull, actually pulling it out the other side. I've heard of people having to put thread bolts to push it out. And we already have the voltage regulator disconnected completely from the generator. You would think 24 volts would be enough to keep the battery charged. And if we just replace the, um, because, you know, you only need, oh, like 14 to keep a battery charged. Holy crap. Make sure that, remember this one's on top. See if they're exactly identical, same length and everything. If they're not, I'm going to have to remember that. Uh, they are exactly the same. Okay, good one. But talking to the dude that does works on old bikes for a living, he said that we should get it uh, to where it's charging all the way just to be safe, so we're gonna do that. Oh, and <laughs> uh, hopefully nothing, gotta have a clear shifter. Oh yeah, it's a little dirty. It's got a little bit of oil in there. That probably just lubricates it, but yeah, this thing is pretty filthy. Uh, and this one has a cover on it. It's got mounts. Some of these, your voltage regulator, I don't know how well this is coming up on film, but it uh, mounts to the front of this. It just mounts on and the wires go through, hence the, you know, spacer there. Here's the two plugs and here's the gear where the bike drives it. It doesn't feel bound up or loose, so hopefully the brushes just need to be redone. A brush is a little brass like block that rides on a guide. I'm gonna go clean my hands here. It makes the uh, electrical connection as it spins. So you have like a sleeve, a wheel, and then these two metal, these brass like blocks that rest on there and they go shh, they just slip. And that's usually what connects your, uh, your armature to your field, basically. And after a while, those tend to wear down. I need something to clean my hands. I'm sure the internet's gonna have a heyday with this, but carve a joke later. Ah. Yeah, you're not supposed to do this shit. If I was still a mechanic, I wouldn't do it every day because your hands start to dry out, but right now, I need to have clean hands. There we have it. Here's our generator. New one of those is, oh God, what were they? $260 or something like that? They're insane. Praying to God we could, uh, that, that could just be rebuilt. Rich was saying it can probably be rebuilt. Said he could probably rebuild it if it's charging still uh, for like 60 bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold him to that. Okay, and here's the other side. Make sure, yep, there we go. Holy crap. Before I put, Let's get in there. Yeah, before I put this back on, I'm probably gonna, I don't know, I might roll it outside. Yep, there's the gear. There we go. There's the gear that turns it. Um, I might roll this outside, wedge like a rag in there, and holy shit, clean that out. Because you can't get in there to clean it. That could just be road grime. Uh, go when the generator's in there and there right there that thing. That's our voltage regulator There's the it's got three wires the green one the one goes to the uh, field the other two wherever the other one is there it is they go to the uh, 
armature side, then you got this one wire that goes up to the idiot light, tells you the generator's, uh, it's not charging. And then there's gotta be, I mean, there's gotta be wires going to this too somewhere. I mean, you would think, you know what I mean? There's, it, there's gotta be a connection between this, this shit and the battery, but it, uh, to be honest, I haven't found it yet. <laughs> honest to God, I have not found it yet. Unless uh, this light, I've been told this wire goes to the light uh, right here, but I don't know. There's Maybe it splits off and one goes to the battery. This bike has been custom wired. I really don't know. <laughs> But it is, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty clean in there. It looks good in there. But we are going to wrap this sucker up in a rag. Put it on the shelf here. You can see I was doing a bunch of soldering. And, uh, take this shit up to Fairbolt tomorrow. And drop it off. Hopefully it gets it rebuilt by winter. <laughs> and this is bothering me not having this bike running. So this is going to be step one of the of this crap. If you haven't noticed, I did shave, get a haircut. The wedding, let's go do the haircut. The shaving, I just it's been hotter than hell. I'm going to let it grow back, not full, but hey, we'll get we'll get the generator back. We'll put it on, make sure it's working, wire everything up properly, see if it's charging, and if it's not, I got to buy a voltage regulator. Uh, the only thing I'm really worried about out of this whole damn process is having to replace that generator with a new one. That's going to be expensive if I do, but I'm, I shouldn't if I'm lucky because it's, put, it's working, it's just not working enough. When those brushes wear down, they still make a connection, but they don't work as well. So I'm hoping that's what we're thinking it is. But in the meantime, this bike's getting torn apart more and more every day. Hopefully soon we can uh, put it back together. <laughs> we'll see you on the next step of the trip.